Well, it's that time of the month, end of every month, I do my recoveries of my empty tanks. So when you're finished with the tank, you could have one, two, three ounces of vapor in every tank, depending on the ambient conditions when you finished off. So I recover them out. This one's ready for recovery. So I'll open this one up. Let's see, it starts negative 29. Boom. And that's roughly a positive 30 or 40 something. But since this is on, it takes it down right away. And it goes into the recovery tank. And then I perform that for every tank. And then when they're finished, you write empty on them as you're finished. And these are all the YF refrigerants. So this is a weekly or bi-weekly occurrence. And then I have to jump to the 134 tanks. And then I jump to filling up the 410 tanks. Uh, 12. I only have to do 12 about once a year. I get about 30 to 60 pounds of R12 recovered from really old cars once a year, so I don't have to do that very often. R22, still get about 100 pounds a year of that. And uh, YF is becoming my dominant uh, refrigerant now because the majority of vehicles I do are now are newer vehicles. And so this is what happens goes into the dirty tank and then from the dirty tank it goes off and gets recycled and then it ends up into one of my clean tanks so this is pure yf 30 pounds here and um, i have several of these i fill them all up and so whoops there goes my camera nope almost started taking off the camera lens so so that's why this is a workhorse because this will basically stay on from morning until evening. When I start doing refrigerants, I'll start off, say, from the YF here. And right now it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. Then I'll transfer over, clean out nitrogen, evacuate the system. It'll be a clean unit again. And then start with a different refrigerant like the R134. And then vacuum out the system, purge it with nitrogen, vacuum it hook it up to a 410 tank, start recovering all the empty 410s, and just do that continuously. So when this starts in the morning, it basically doesn't shut off until nighttime. And that's like a once a week occurrence for this. And uh, so that's how I know this thing is a beast that doesn't break down. Just like the field piece, I used to use the field piece. But every time I get a new piece of equipment, to prove that it's good enough and worthy to be called a true you know workhorse i used the hell out of them the first year of their life and the field piece um, proved that it's worthy of being called a good reliable piece of equipment and my navac has proved to be and this is the four cylinder version this has proved to be a reliable workhorse that literally can go through tons of refrigerant because i don't deal in refrigerant in pounds I deal in tonnage so this has probably lived its life that if it lived with a normal guy for about five to eight years what I do in one year most people don't do in five to eight years and that's about it take you guys on that one why spend the rest of this uh, Saturday afternoon recycling refrigerant <laughs>